it's me, Alexia. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about cliques or groupies or, you know, the popular to the nerdy to the gamers to the losers or, let's be honest here though, there's no such thing as a loser, just very awesome people who can't stand other people because they're too awesome and they can't and handle the other awesomeness because they can't comprehend the other awesomeness but the other person can't and it's just, you know, like the stereotypes. Uh, at my school, I thought about it, I'm like, what would we be considered? Like, are we the wallflowers, or are we just a ragtag group of bad kids? I'm not bad, though. I'm the smart one in the group, and the well-behaved. I guess everyone needs that one person in the group, though, kind of. Because I'm always like, no, don't do that. No, what are you doing? Put your clothes back on. You, we are not doing that in public. That kind of thing, you know? And so I'll just be there like... And then my other friends will be like, Dick. Vagina. Ha ha. Laugh. Ha ha ha. And I'm just like... Like, uncomfortable, but that's... Everyone's kind of like that, I assume. Is everyone like that? I don't know. Like, it's always like... Every day during lunch, it's like, all of a sudden, let the dirty jokes commence, and let the obnoxious laughter go, and let the screamers scream, and it's just, and then you're just like, is this really what we do every day? And then I look around more, and I'm like, and I started to think, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm kind of questioning everything, kind of, where I'm like, those kids... Like, we, we we all know each other. We, like I said, it's a small school, but we all have our little cliques. Like, you got the one group of girls who are all about, like, fashion and One Direction and Five Seconds of Summer and makeup. And then you got another group of people who are all, like, Galaxy and Kittens and My Little Ponies and then all that hacky sack stuff. And then... You got another group of kids who are all A pluses in all the classes, good role model kids who people look up to and very charismatic. And then, like I said, you got the wallflowers, which is just, I guess, not necessarily leftovers, but also people who they can kind of they can go into the certain groups that they're like designated in. But we're kind of like that cultural group where we like we welcome everyone to anyone and we all have problems and we all understand and we all love each other and all that good stuff. But even then there's still fights in the group and ooh, that's another story for some other time. But you know what I mean? Like why do we have cliques? Why do we have like like certain like groups or people we should be seen with? Like, our school's kind of not like that, but at the same time it is. And then you just, you kind of, oh, and, like, also, like, the jocks and, like, the basketball players, they all just hang out together. And you, or the drama kids, or, you know what I mean? It's just, when did this become a thing? Is it just because we're comfortable with the other people? Or are we afraid to step out and meet other people and feel like we can't connect with them, so we just won't be friends with them, or join them, or hang out with them, you know, like, it's okay if another person doesn't agree with what you like, if anything, you can learn from them, from their point of view, why they don't like it, or just simply, like, why they don't enjoy it, something that you enjoy, like, shopping for clothes, like, you get a gamer, and you get a fashionista, and then it's like, I love, sh um, the fashionista is like, I love shopping for her clothes and all that good stuff you go, oh my goodness it's a sale and then you got the gamer and it's like I can't really what are you so excited about clothes just give me a t-shirt and I'll be good but then when the gamer goes and see a game store like GameStop or anything then you're just like that game the gamer is like oh my god look at all these games that just got released <gasps> they have an updated version of this whatever console whatever or like oh my goodness the oculus for the xbox and just like 
And then you got the fashionista that's like, I don't, why are you so, there's no, why, like, what's so fun about this? Like, you realize there's two different things, but we, people don't realize is whether it's shopping for games or clothes or other things, you do share a one, some, something in common that people just kind of subside or forget or don't really, um, don't, don't really look into, and it's, we love what we love. It's like, that fashionista feels the same way of clothes as that gamer feels about games. It's the same emotion. You guys can bond over that. But like, and bond. See? Like, just meet, meet, handshake, bond. And then, you know, like, we all have something in common, whether it's just an emotion, the way we see other things, it's all still connected. Whether I love Five Seconds of Summer, which I do, or when someone likes um, Paramore, which I also do, or where someone likes Panic at the Disco, which I really love, you know? It's just, it's a cultural thing. Like, I'll listen to, like me, I feel like I'm kind of the person that can go both ways. I love video games, but I love clothes, I love anime, but I also love, like, drama shows, like, um, what? Oh, like The Walking Dead. Oh, The Walking Dead comes out tomorrow. Sorry, random thought in my head. And then, or there's moments where I really love makeup, but then there's those moments where I'm, like, all about whatever, you know? Or, like, I could be into pop music, or I could be into classical, or rock, or techno, but never country. I'm not into country. I'm sorry for those people who love country. I'm just not my cup of tea. But I respect you liking country, and I can see why you love it. It's just something that I'm not into, but like I said, we love music in general. That's something that's worth bonding over, right? Anyways, I just gotta get that off my chest. So, it's off, it's out there, and put in the comments below what you think about the whole stereotypical cliques and stereotypes and groupies and, and the whole high school shebang. And let me know what you think. And, like I said, in the comments below. And subscribe if you want to see more of this freak right here. I'm sorry. And, well... See you guys later. Bye-bye.